Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be showing you how to fix some common image issues that you might experience in WordPress. So let's get started. Of course, your website might be different than mine. I'm using the writer theme from My Theme Shop. So, just like any other theme, you're going to want to add pictures. And if you have blog posts, you're going to want to add pictures to your blog posts. So let's do that now. Once you log into your server, simply go to your dashboard here. And now here we are on our WordPress dashboard. Simply all we're going to do is go to media. Something to kind of, you know, make your time a little faster is if you click on media here, you can see there's library and then there's add new. This will give you a quick option where you can just go right to your library or you can go right to add new. So if I click on add new, it takes you to here so you can just automatically upload your pictures so you don't have to go to your library and then add new. It just saves you a step. But we're just going to go to our library. I currently have the demo data from the writer theme from my theme shop installed. So if we look here, we have all of our different images. So let me kind of go through some of these different options so that you know what you're looking at here. Now I have my images kind of in a box form, but if you prefer to have them lined up, you can change how they look. This way you can look at different file types, uh, who the author is and things like that. I, again, I prefer just to look at the images and you of course might have your own uh, likes and dislikes as well. Over here, we can choose different media types. So if you have images, audio, video, things like that, you can go by date. Um, you can also do a bulk select. So in case you're going to delete images, you could uh, delete a whole bunch at one time and things like that. It comes in very handy. If we're looking to upload an image, we would click on add new. If you click select file, it's just going to take you to your computer, to your uh, images on your computer, and you could upload them uh, from there. If we look over here, we can search for media. Now, if we click on an image, let's find an image here. So what we're looking at here is this is the image that I uploaded here. Over here, you have your, your URL. So this lets you know where the image is located at. You have a title option, a caption option, an alt text, and your description. And you can have other options here. So if you go to click on edit image, we can look at the attachment details. We can rotate and turn. We can do different options to our image. We can change the aspect ratios. We can scale the image. We can also assign this to your thumbnails or all the images and different files. So let's, let me show you how this works in a blog post, for example. If you go to your blog post, you can, of course, create new. But we're going to look at our one here that says Hello World. This is kind of our sample demo theme here. So if we look at our blog post, this is what it looks like. It's very bare. There's, of course, no text, things like that but we want to add a picture to it. So how would you add a picture to a blog post? Well, we can add media. So if we click on add media, we can look at different options. Again, we can upload straight from our computer, or if we've already uploaded it, we can go to our file here. So let's go ahead and click on an image. Once you click on it, you have options again to edit it. You can add captions, your alt text. You can do alignment. So some issues you might want to be aligned to the left, center, right, or none. You can have it linked. You can ask what file size. So this one, for example, automatically was going to do the medium. We can also do full size, and these are different options. So let's keep it medium. We're going to click insert into post. So now, because I'm on the text editor, it makes it where it just shows the text. So let's look at visual. If we click on visual, now we can see our images there. I'll just put some text down. So now let's view, let's preview it. So we go to preview changes. So we have our image here. So this would be our blog post. So somebody would see this and this is what our content would be like so it would be whatever you're talking about would be here uh, of course this is me as the author uh, you would have your additional related posts and we have our image here so we're trying to create user engagement but a very common troubleshooting error uh, tip i want to give you here is if we go to your blog role where all of your blog posts are if you notice this is the uh, blog that we just did right here but there's no image okay so if you notice how these ones have an image this one does not. And that's a very common issue. So let me show you how to kind of fix this, It'll make it kind of easy for you. So we're just going to go back into this blog post. And what I want to show you is over here where it says featured image. So we're just going to find our image. Now we're going to add, it says set feature image. Okay. And you might be wondering where did the image go? Where is it? And it's because it's saving it as your featured image for this blog post. So let's go and save it again now. We'll go and look at it. 
And again, I mean, it's, it's our original blog post here, so nothing's changed, nothing's different. But something I want to notice over here, if you see over here, now you can see there's an image that goes along with our blog post. So let's go back to the blog roll here, showing all of our posts, and now our image is there. This is one of the most number one troubleshooting errors and tips when it comes to uploading images and things like that is just simply forgetting or not adding a featured image. So this way it makes it where people can see your images and it just looks nice. So let's go back in. So again, when you're on here on your blog post, you can do a lot of things. You know, you can add, you know, content and uh, we can, you know, of course, change all the different information you want and you can keep on just adding media if you like. Let's add a different picture. You know, we got our different sizes this time. Let's do full size. Okay, we're going to add that there. We're going to click update and now we're going to go back to our post and here it is so if i was talking about something it would have our title here could have a picture of you as the author or whatever you want to do maybe you have a guest post or something or you're writing about you know recipes and now you have all the different options so there's our picture there and again everything looks great again we can see our stuff over here and everything is playing nicely and of course your theme might be different and you can always change your featured image later on but this is the most simple and easy way just to go in and change your featured image to whatever you like. Our featured image changed. We're going to click update. We'll go check out our post. Again, you don't see it here, but you do see it over here. So if you have a widget or something over here in your sidebar that gives you uh, related uh, posts and categories, you're going to see these changes over here. But let's go look at our blog roll with all of our blog posts. And again, we just changed it here. So this is a very useful tool and a very useful uh you know, strategy to make sure that your content looks nice and so that your images look great. When you're editing your pages or you're editing your blog posts, you want to make sure it looks nice and it looks good for you, just like you would the users and the visitors to your website. Right now, all of our images are kind of stuck over to the side. So let's kind of change this with this first image. If you go over and click on the image, a box appears. And this gives you the option to stretch out your image. You can also align left, which we already are, we can align in the center, we can align right, and we can do no alignment. You can also edit it. So what's nice with this is if you didn't already do so, you can add a caption, you can do different, uh, your alternative text, you can change the alignment manually. You can also, if you want to link to a different page, you can link this information where you want it to go if you want to open a new tab, and it's very helpful. You can also replace it with a different image, so if I don't like that image, I can go and click it and change it with a different image and now it changes okay so again we can do left we can do different sizes however you want of course you can scroll down and you can make it look the way you want to look so let's go look at that now here's our image again and it looks wonderful it looks amazing and it looks very nice and is very professional again these are just some simple image tips to help you really kind of become an expert with wordpress and using my theme shop themes Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.